everyone how's it going I am going to do another fit flow with Bryony on her Cody app right now so follow along hopefully it inspires you to move a little bit today and have a good one let's get going all right, Yogi, let's start at the top of our mats in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feet hips distance. Take your hands by your side. Close your eyes. Find your Ujjayi breath. Keeping the eyes closed, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Palm touch. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Just keep your eyes closed. Just let the movements happen. Press the palms together, open the shoulders. And then inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, back into that same position. Hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms together, lift the hands away from the butt. One more, inhale, reach the arms up. This time, opening the eyes. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms together, little bend in the elbows. Inhale, lift the heart up this time. Lean the gaze up towards the sky. And exhale, little bend in the knees as you fold down over the tops of your thighs. Like we have been doing, we're going to start this first round nice and slow. Relax your head. Lift the shoulders. Maybe a little bend in the knees, but start to find some engagement in the quads. Press the inner thighs back, press the outer hips back. And now you're just going to move your knuckles towards the right, almost like you're twisting your chest open towards the left. And then back to center, opening towards the right, taking your hands towards the left, bending your left knee this time. Back to center, bending your right knee out towards the left. Back to center, center, bending the left knee and twisting towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold down a little bit deeper, knuckles overhead. Sweep the hands down towards the mat. Inhale to a flat back. Pause for a moment. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, root to rise all the way up towards standing. We'll take three half serious. Exhale, fold straight back down. Inhale, rise back up. Sweep the arms out to come up. Palms touch. Exhale, fold straight back down. One more time. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms out to come up. Palms touch. Exhale, fold all the way down through center. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms. Step back into plank pose. Put your knees, your chest, and your chin down. Now we're going to take a, a knees, chest, chin cobra roll. So you're going to draw your tailbone to your heels and start to roll yourself into your cobra thighs on the ground lift the heart tuck the toes under exhale downward facing dog breathe here gaze forward make sure your hands or your fingers are spreading wide your hands or shoulders distance root firmly through the index finger knuckle drop your gaze relax the head lift the forearms but spread the collarbones and knit the ribs in bring your feet together Inhale, reach your right leg up and back, bend the knee, open the hip, and exhale, lower down to your left forearm. So you might need to move the elbow in a little bit more underneath that left shoulder. Lower down to the left forearm and just begin to push with your right hand so your chest moves back towards that left leg. If you're a little bit tighter in the hamstrings or calf, you might have to bend that left knee. But you will feel more of a stretch if you press that left heel down. Inhale, start to push into the right hand and left hand. Straighten that left arm, straighten your right leg. And exhale, draw your knee towards your nose. And step your right foot towards the left hand. So you want to kind of cross it over. Not towards center, but more towards the left. Then take your left fingertips forward and heel toe your right foot to the left. So you're almost crossed 
like you're walking a tightrope. Take your arms out wide, you're on the fingertips, like a tightrope crescent pose. Now inhale, drop your right knee down like you're going into a pigeon prep. And then exhale, lift it straight back up. When you lift, you wanna pull everything to the center. So hug the inner thighs together. Two more, inhale, drop back down. Exhale, lift back up to the sole of that right foot. Last one, inhale back to that pigeon prep. Exhale, lift back up to the sole of the foot. Then inhale, drop back into that pigeon prep because you deserve it <laughs> and it's nice and yummy. But we're not gonna fold down for this first one. Keep the left toes tucked under, lift the navel up. See if you can walk your hands back and find a seated or a lifted pigeon prep, which really helps to square the hips. And it opens and strengthens the outer right hip more than actually folding down. Okay. Breathe here. Inhale fully. Exhale, you're gonna place your left hand in front of the sole of your right foot. Lift that left knee off the ground as if you're going back to that same kind of tightrope crescent, but spin to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Take your right hand to your right ankle and just place your right sole of the foot on the inner left thigh for a Vashistasana with um, Rikshasana or tree pose. Reach your right arm up. Push down through the pinky toe edge of your left foot and your left hand and lift the hips. Woo! Might feel a little wobbly, engage the core. Now, keep pushing the sole of your right foot and the inner edge of your left thigh towards one another. Inhale and exhale, try to come into plank. Staying in that tree pose. Keep squeezing the foot and the thigh together. Inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Staying in that position, can you put that left knee down and lift up into an up dog in that same tree pose? And if it's not possible, stay in the chaturanga because we're gonna come back into the plank and roll all the way to the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Sit all the way down, facing the back of your mat in your Janu Shirsasana. Sole of your right foot to the inner left thigh. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. So we're getting strong and flexible all in 30 minutes. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull the crown of the head towards those left toes. And then inhale, sweep your left arm up and around, back into that side plank position. You can use your right hand to help you prop yourself back up. Draw your right knee into your chest and step your right foot forward. Spin your left heel down, line it up heel to heel or hips distance. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Take a moment to let the pose really marinate in the body. Let your body feel the pose. Then you can begin to adjust it. You're drawing that right hip back and into the midline, pressing the left inner thigh back so that your left hip moves forward. Then protect the low back, lift the back ribs as the front ribs draw in. Inhale, gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms together, lift the heart, inhale, and straighten your right leg. Exhale, fold down over your right leg. Sometimes if we fold over the right shin, we get a bit twisted, so if you feel that's you, you can always fold right down through center. Breathe. Hug the inner thighs in towards one another. Press that right shin forward and up as you draw the right hip back. Get into that right hamstring, but protect your low back by drawing the ribs in. And maybe open the shoulders a little more, bring the knuckles overhead. Then bend that right knee, inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Exhale, open wide, warrior two. Heel toe the right foot to the left, one step. Find heel to arch, open the arms. Don't worry, this is strong flexibility. So we're gonna get straight into the reverse. We're not gonna hold this. Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Hmm. This feels really nice. Keep bending your right knee forward. Try to make this a side bend. So get your entire torso to face me and reach back through your right fingertips. Inhale, exhale, straighten your right leg. Turn your right toes in to meet the left. Reach the arms up, inhale, gaze up, palms touch. Exhale, hands behind the back. Take your hands onto your buttocks, fingertips facing up, push down and fold down. Prasarita, Padottanasana. Keep trying to get your fingers to press your, uh, your buttock flesh up. 
You'll feel a nice stretch in the top of the shoulder and even in the tricep. Sweep the hands down into the ground. Fingertips underneath the shoulders. Inhale, flat back. Take your right hand right underneath your nose and reach your left arm up. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. One more round. Exhale, left hand down. Right arm reaches up. Take both hands down. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Step your right foot back, vinyasa. Deep breath here. Sigh it out. Now let's balance it out and do that left side. Bring your feet together. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Gaze forward at your hands, and as you exhale, bring that right hand just a little bit closer to you and lower down to the right forearm. Drop your head and do your best to press your right heel towards the mat as you press your chest back. Even if you're a little bit tighter and you're on the ball of the foot, bend the knee slightly. You'll still get a nice stretch as you direct that right heel towards the ground. Now push down through the right hand, straighten the right arm as you straighten the left leg, and exhale, knee to nose, step your left foot as close to your right hand as possible. Then take your fingertips, your arms, out towards the sides. Your arms are straight and you're on your fingertips. From here, heel toe the left foot over towards the right, one more step or wiggle, and lower that left knee down like you're doing pigeon prep. Inhale, and exhale, push down to lift back up, firming the inner thighs together, one one or two <laughs> two more inhale lower down exhale lift inhale lower down exhale lift and inhale lower down and pause here Ah, oh, that feels good. Try to get yourself to sit up a little bit more here. So firm the inner thighs together, lift the heart, and lift the navel to the spine. You might even feel a stretch in that right top of the leg or hip flexor area. Inhale fully. And exhale, place your right hand down right in front of your left sole of the foot. Use your left hand to help you lift your seat up. Spin to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Now, take your left hand onto the left ankle and place the sole of your left foot on your right inner thigh as you come into side plank. Reach that left arm up as you inhale, lift the hips, and press your right inner thigh into the left foot and the left foot right back into the thigh. Inhale. And exhale, try to keep that tree shape in the legs. Come into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Maybe push right back up to plank or drop down into that cobra pose. Left knee and top of the right thigh supporting. Draw the navel in, tuck the right toes under. Inhale, lift the hips right back up and come back into that side plank on the right side. Now slowly lower your right hip down and sit down onto your butt, facing now the back of your mat into Janu Shirsasana. Sole of the left foot to the right inner thigh. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. And exhale, drop your forehead, pulling the crown of the head forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Great job. Reach your right arm up and around as you inhale. Place the right hand back into that side plank position. Left fingertips in front of you as you roll onto the right side body. Try to stay in that uh, tree-like position. Reach the left arm up and step your left foot forward. Not easy, so do your best. Step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down, line it up heel to heel or hips distance, and inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Take a moment here to let your body tune into the pose. You wanna to try to get your hips squared, but it's not the most important thing. Think about the engagement of the outer left hip drawing back, the outer right hip drawing forward, and lifting the back ribs up to find space in the back body. Inhale, gaze up as the palms touch. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms, and inhale, broaden across the collarbones, lift your heart, straighten the left leg, and exhale, fold down. You can fold down over the left thigh, or to get your hips a little more neutral, right down through center. Relax your head. Keep lifting that left shin bone towards your toe tips as you pull your left outer hip back. 
Protect your low back, draw the ribs in. Maybe open the shoulders a little more by bringing the knuckles overhead. Push down through your feet. Inhale, rise up back to your warrior one. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, open into warrior two. Heel toe your left foot to the right, one step. Flip your left palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Keep bending your left knee towards the front of the mat and reaching your right fingertips towards your right heel. Lean back. Then inhale, stand tall, straighten that left leg, hands to your hips as you turn your toes in, your heels out. Now take your hands to your upper glutes, fingertips facing down, elbows draw in, inhale, lift the heart up high, exhale, fold down. Sweep the hands down towards the mat. Inhale to a flat back. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left arm reaches up into the twist. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand down. Right arm up as you inhale. Exhale. Right hand down. Left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand down. Right arm up. Inhale deeply. Exhale, back to the ground with both hands. Look to the front of your mat, turn your left toes forward. Hands to the front of the mat, step your left foot back, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Gaze forward, inhale, rise to your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step or hop, front of the mat. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold down. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Hopefully you enjoyed that slow version of our flow. Now you know all of it. We're going to flow through it together a little bit quicker this time, really thinking one breath per movement. All right, Yogi, let's flow. Hands to your heart. Allow your lips to curl up and smile and stay there. And inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold down. Bend your left knee and open towards the right. Inhale. Exhale to center. Bend your right knee. Open to the left. Exhale to center. Bend your left knee. Open to the right. Exhale to center, bend your right knee, open to the left. That feels amazing in my shoulders. Inhale back to center, sweep the hands down towards the mat. Inhale, flat back, plant your palms, step back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Initiate that cobra roll from the pelvis. Roll this time into upward facing dog. Lift the thighs, exhale, downward facing dog. Feet together, inhale, right leg reaches up and back, bend the knee, open the hip, exhale, left forearm comes down, drop your head. Inhale, straighten the left arm, straighten the right leg, exhale, knee to nose, step your left foot to, your right foot to your left hand, open the arms out wide, inhale, right knee down, exhale, lift, one, inhale, down, exhale, lift, two. Inhale down, exhale, lift three. Inhale down, lift your heart. This time, exhale, fold in. I'm going to add in a little fun jump here. Inhale, flat back, plant your palms flat. Lift your left knee up. Now, all you're going to do is jump into a figure four. So watch first. I'm going to bend my left knee and jump my left foot forward and my right ankle over the left knee. And you just jump back into your pigeon, jump forward into your Figure four, jump back into your pigeon. One more, jump forward, figure, jump forward, figure four. Exhale, jump back into that pigeon. Whew, getting that cardio in there. Now your left hand plants at the sole of your right foot. You're going to spin to the pinky toe edge, grab your right foot, and place it on your left thigh. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, chaturanga. Maybe a little bit of cobra here. Exhale, plank. Inhale, back into that side plank with the rickshasana feet. Exhale, lower down into janushirsasana. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. This feels amazing after all that work. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, fold. And inhale, sweep that left arm up and back. Come back into that side plank. Step your right foot forward. Spin that left heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind your back. Inhale, lengthen your heart. Straighten your right leg. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, bend your right knee back to warrior one. Exhale, open into warrior two. Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, straighten the right leg and fold straight down into Prasarita Padasanasana. Inhale, flat back, right hand, hand underneath your face, reach your left arm up. And exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. See now if you can push into your right hand so much so that your right leg can lift. Ah, just for fun. Exhale, left hand down. Right arm up. See if you can push into your left hand so much so. Taking the weight on that right foot, your left leg can lift. And put it down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to the front of the mat. Step your right foot back, vinyasa. Starting to work a little bit harder. You've got this. Feet together. Inhale, left leg reaches up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, right forearm down, head presses back. Inhale, straighten the left leg, straighten the right arm. Exhale, step your left foot next to your right hand. Inhale, open the arms out wide. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale here. Exhale, lift up. Inhale down, exhale, lift up. One more. Inhale down, exhale, lift up. And then inhale down, exhale, fold. Inhale, straighten your arms. Plant your palms flat at the front of the mat. Tuck your left and your right toes under. Inhale and exhale, jump your right knee underneath your left ankle. And then jump it back. So for that figure four, jump up and back. One more. Jump up and back. Don't worry if it doesn't quite happen. Just try to jump. Maybe it's to chair. Your right hand comes down next to the sole of your left foot. Come to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Left hand grabs your left ankle, places the sole of the foot on the right inner thigh, and reaches that left arm up. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Maybe you can go for that cobra pose in your Vrikshasana. Exhale, lift up plank. Go for that side plank on that right arm and slowly lower your hip all the way down. Janusha Sasana facing the back of the mat. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And inhale, sweep your right arm up and behind you. Try to come straight back into that side plank. Step your left foot forward. Spin your right heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, straighten your left leg, fold down. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your left palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, straighten your left leg, turn your toes into me. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, flat back, right hand underneath your face. Reach your left arm up, twist. Exhale, left hand down, reach your right arm up, twist. Exhale, right hand down. Reach your left arm up. See if you can push your weight into your right hand and your right foot. Reach your left leg up. Left hand down. Reach your right arm up. See if you can push your hand into your left hand and your left foot. Lift your right leg up. Place it down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step full or walk your hands forward. Step your feet back. Plank, chaturanga, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Inhale, look forward. Rise to your toes. Bend your knees. Exhale, hop or step front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
Great job, Yogi. You made it. Hopefully you're feeling strong and a little bit more open. Now, we did prep our bodies for Ekapada Galavasana, so I'm going to show you uh, how to get into it, what to work on, and then we'll finish up. So Ekapada Galavasana requires exactly those things, strength and flexibility combined. Okay, So we start from that wicked figure four that we jumped into right ankle over the left knee, and it's like a chair pose. You bend that left knee and you fold down over your right shin. So it's like a chair mixed with a pigeon prep. Then you drape your arms over the front of that right shin and you hook your right foot as high as you can on that left tricep. Get your right shin high up on both armpits. Place your palms flat like you were doing a crow pose or a chaturanga and lean forward. And the first step is to think, Hollow out the belly and see if you can lift your left foot up off the ground. If that's happening, the left foot's lifting, then lean far forward enough to reach the left leg up to the sky and not back. So make sure you do it on the other side. Try both sides. Um, if you're dealing with lack of flexibility, which is totally normal, then you need to open your hips before you try this. Great job, Yogi. Go ahead and lie down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Push your hands down flat on the mat and reach your legs up and over your head. Halasana plow pose. Work from shoulder to shoulder. Interlace your fingers. Press the knuckles forward and now try to think about wrapping your inner biceps out towards the outer edges of the mat. That's really going to help you get high up on the shoulder tips. That's external rotation. So as long as you keep the external rotation, you're going to be fine with the neck. Now, place your hands, fingertips facing up as high up as you can on your upper back and reach one leg up at a time. Shoulders down. I love this pose only because you can see what your feet are doing in an inversion. <laughs> so if you're doing this, yeah, relaxing your feet in shoulder stand, then you're probably doing it in handstand and every other inversion you're doing. So whatever you're doing, whether it's flexing the foot or pointing the foot like a Barbie foot or pointing the toes, do that and firm the inner thighs together. Belly in, reach for the ceiling with your toes. Don't look around in the pose. Inhale. And exhale, bend your knees, slowly bringing the inner knees to the outer ears. Karna Padasana. Release your hands down to the mat, using them as brakes. Slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Extend the legs forward. Place your hands underneath your buttocks. Bring the elbows in underneath you as far as you can, and then scoop to the crown of your head for Matsyasana fish pose, just to work to balance out that deep stretch on the back of the neck. Inhale, draw your chin to your chest. Exhale, slowly melt down onto the mat. Open the arms out wide, palms face up. Let your feet drop open and release this practice, Shavasana. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. But if you're ready to move on with your day, inhale, stretch the arms overhead, hook the thumbs, take a deep in-breath, and then open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Upon your next inhalation, bend the knees like bridge, roll to the right side or left side of the body, and prop yourself up to seated. Great job, Yogi. I hope you feel great. And thank you so much for joining me today. See you again soon. Namaste. Namaste. That was amazing. So that was... I've done all four episodes of her Vinyasa Fit Flow, and each one was very different, and it was good. I feel strong and really tired. So I will see you guys again next time. Bye. Have fun.